Are you ready for slapstick? You just tripped over the fucking wire. Okay, come on, let's get up now, let's get up, 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 up. First guy to pronounce my name well, thank you for that very much. <laughs> Yesterday I performed to my parents for the first time. I said I'm really nervous, so don't laugh at me. <laughs> and they didn't. <laughs> Supportive. <laughs> my dad teaches at my university. When I call him sick, I get two lectures. <laughs> For my birthday, he gave me business cards. Then said, don't make a big deal out of it. <laughs> he loves to buy one, get one free deals. Our shopping trolley looks like Noah's Ark. <laughs> Once I called him, said, we need paper for the printer. He said, I'm all for that. No, Dad, it's A4. <laughs> Fuck it, it's a shit joke, but I love it. <laughs> a bit about me, I hate job searching. Why the websites ask for my postcode and my radius that I'm willing to travel to and my job title if they're going to ignore all of them? First job that comes up is a nursery nurse. I search post office, that doesn't even have an N in it. <laughs> and the fact that no one's laughing, brilliant. <laughs> Everyone else has died up until this point, so I don't care. Uh, the second job that came up when I was job searching was uh, fluent French speaker required. Let's see, I spent half hour signing up. If I could speak French, I would have fucking put it on the website. <laughs> Next, it asked for an MVQ level 2 play worker. Seriously? I don't even know what that is. In that job application, I put my sister as my emergency contact. She's only 14, but she's the only one that answers the phone when I call. <laughs> I just started working in retail. I'm shit. <laughs> I'll ask a customer, say you've been down yourself for 20 minutes. Where does this go? The best thing about working in Panland, customers don't come up to me and say, how much is this? <laughs> a customer approached me the other week and said, have you got this in a different colour? A one pan dustpan and brush. <laughs> Why does it matter? It'll be broke within a week. <laughs> I hate it when customers come up and ask, do you have, I don't know, some multi-use hoover that turns into a flamethrower, okay? I don't pay enough attention to actually give you as an example. But, yeah, I hate it when customers come up and they ask me, do you have... And I'm thinking, I don't know. I just work here. <laughs> I'm a colourblind racist. Sorry. I'm an alcoholic bartender. I can't remember my next joke. <laughs> and that got the most laughs. Brilliant. <laughs> well, you know. I have 101 Dalmatian jokes. <laughs> That's my favourite. I have attention deficit. <laughs> Shit, sorry, I didn't even write punchline for that. Got distracted. I made sent me a funny video about cats, <laughs> which was a misleading title, it wasn't funny at all. Okay, I'm going to end on a dark joke. The best thing about sleeping with a teenager, because trust me, there's more than one good thing about that, is when you come in her face, you cover up the acne. <laughs> No freckles, no spots, and now I actually want to fuck you. <laughs> Thank you, I'm having a good time. Daniel and Lockhart, they have been the best to laugh. That was fucking outrageous at the end, and I fucking loved that. Let's hear it for Daniel! Yeah. <laughs>